Rebecca. Some things I told her, I said, I wish I'd have never preached when I was young in this church. It was still the truth, but I should have maybe just waited a little while to preach it. But everybody, I want you to know, everybody in here, without any question, without any doubt, Jesus is on His way. Ready or not, here I come. Now I want to share one more thing, and I promise I'll close in my last closing. I want you to study this out. I want you all to help me look at this because something I've been looking at that maybe we've all missed. Maybe. Don't take my word for it. I want you to go and I want you. I'm studying. I'm looking at it. But when Paul was talking about the falling away first and then the son of, uh, of perdition would be revealed, he wasn't talking about what we've always said, how the people would fall away from the church. That's not what he meant at all if you go back and study it in the Greek and the Hebrew. That's not the word that he meant. I just found that out as I began to study. And, and something that just kind of rattled my brain as I began to look at that particular passage of Scripture. But you know what? It's still a good word for me to tell you, don't fall away from the one that loves you. If you're going to fall away, I heard what my pastor said years ago, fall away to Him. Don't fall away from Him. Come on, somebody. Come on, help me preach. Fall away to Him. Don't fall away from Him. See, I want to tell you right now, that man, that boy, that woman, that, that girl, they didn't die for you. That boyfriend, that girlfriend, they didn't die for you. Jesus Christ died for you. That's why He wants our affection. I thought He wants our affection more than anything. He wants us. He doesn't want us to be religious. He doesn't want us to go through the motions. I'm talking to somebody. He wants us. He wants our hearts. You remember what I used to say? And some of you all say, you say, God, I'll never pay you. I, I was young. I said it all the time. One day, He rebuked me. He said, Son, Quit saying that to me. He said, you can never repay me. I didn't ask you to repay me. You've never heard me say it since or before. That's been 20-something years ago. I never forgot it. Jewel, what he said. He said, all I ask you to do is love me. Glory be to God. Do you love Him tonight? Will you stand to your feet? We're going to close right here. I feel... I feel the doors, the windows, or whatever you want to call it of heaven. I feel it opening over this church tonight. Brother Harold, I don't know why the Lord wanted me to come and tell you this, but I'm going to obey God. Are you listening to me? He said, in my kingdom, there is fullness of joy. And he said, and at my right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Barbara. God knows all about it. He said a contrite spirit. A broken heart and a contrite spirit. He said I'm not despised. He loves you. His church loves you. He loves you girl. I mean, will you raise your hands to heaven one more time? I don't think I've ever in my life been so glad to be in the house of God as I am in this season. There is such a freedom. There is such favor upon your life. Everybody listen to me. I want you to say, I don't care who you are. Michael, there's favor upon your life, son. Favor. Everything you do, I believe you'll prosper by faith. You keep living for God just like you. Even though you're my son, I believe. I've never said nothing like this to you. Favor in your life, on you, resting upon your life. And I believe today, and I hope you believe the same, that this is the day that the Lord has made. And I'm going to rejoice, and I'm going to be glad there. And you know, let me tell you what I'm really glad about is I'm glad to be here with you all. I don't know of any other place I'd rather be. I mean, I, I had a good time on vacation, but I sure did miss church. 
I had a good time when I went down to Tybee Island, but I sure did miss church because there's no place like the house of God. David said, as for me and my house, he said, we will serve the Lord. Come on, somebody say, Lord, we're here to serve you. We're here to honor you. We're here to glorify you tonight. And we thank you, Lord. Let's raise our hands one more time. I'm going to let you go. Thanks for joining with us for the broadcast from New Beginning Worship Center in Greenback, Tennessee. We are located at 6501 Highway 411 South in Greenback, Tennessee, zip code 37742. Emails may be addressed to nbwcmailbox at gmail.com. Pastor Marcus Severance and the congregation invite you to join with us Sundays at 10 a.m. for teaching, followed by worship services at 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. We also meet midweek at 7 p.m. on Wednesdays. We're located on Highway 411 in Greenback, Tennessee, just three buildings down from the intersection of Highway 95. If you can't meet with us in person, please join us again next time for our broadcast.